Uh, very happy with the start we had. I don't know if we could have got off to a better start than we did. Um, you know, uh, Utah Valley is a team that runs a lot of different plays and a lot of different sets and a lot of different action, and we took them pretty much out of all their action early. Um, I was really excited about how the guys were attuned to scout and report and picked it up. Um, that was very good. We rebound the ball at a high level, and we were passing and making shots. And, um, you know, I, th I thought uh, the first 15 minutes of the first half kind of set the tone, and we got a big lead and uh, didn't finish the half the way I wanted. F the last five minutes wasn't great defensively. Uh, but everybody got an opportunity to play. Um, I thought we just came out of the gates and played really well, played very hard and aggressive, very aggressive. Well, yeah, we you know we've we've talked a lot about the last couple of days of being aggressive. You know, a team that likes to run their plays and a team that likes to be comfortable. Um, you know, get after them pretty good. You know, we didn't talk about go out and steal the ball, but we did talk a lot about being aggressive. And um, you know, I, what I liked a lot of the aggressiveness came out of uh, a lot of the steals came out of not us gambling, which we have had a tendency to do in practice a little too much. And in the exhibition games, we tried to gamble and make that spectacular steal. We kind of let our defense create the steals, uh, our aggressiveness create the steals. And I like that. Uh, you know, Marcus is a guy who uh, just defensively is the best I've seen as far as reading plays, reading, being able to anticipate uh, where the next pass is going to be. And I think probably out of his nine, three or four of them came off just understanding scout report and knowing where the next pass was going to go. Um, and then he's just, you know, got very strong hands a couple of times. He just took it out of a guy's um, hands. So, uh, but I like our aggressiveness. Our aggressiveness created the steals. Everybody good? Well, you know, I just like now he's thinking pass before shot, and that's what I like about Stevie. Uh, he's really trying to get other guys involved, uh, and he's very uh, cognizant of under of. It might he was trying to get Michael Cobbins shots late in the game. He came over to me a couple times and said, "Coach, what can I run for Cobbins? What can I do? What plays? Tell me a play." You know, I love that he's thinking that way. Uh, I love that for him. And 16 points that part comes easy for him. I mean, even the pass comes easy, but that that you know I. He went out and scored 16 points and didn't even try to score, I don't think. Um, you know, he passed up several shots. Um, but uh, I just love his mindset. We don't want that to change. Continue to just to be very humble and be very appreciative of the playing time and just be very humble and, uh, you know, continue to learn from these older guys and, uh, you know, and, and keep the attitude he's had and the good things that happen for our basketball team. Yeah. No, I. It, no, not really. I was doing. I was wanting to get Sager in the game, so that was the main reason. Um, and he was getting a, a little tired, and uh, and uh, Phil only knows one way to go. So a little bit, let's get him out. Uh, but um, you know, he's uh, he just knows one way to go. He don't know any other way to do it. Him and Marcus. That I mean, that's why you got to really be careful because. Uh, you know, in practice, every, that's what they do. Uh, it's just how, how they play. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.